everyone, Toby here. Welcome back to the Football Collectibles channel. And we are back once again with another brand new Tops UEFA Champions League sticker video. And today, we're going to be showing you what a complete sticker collection looks like with every single sticker from this year's UEFA Champions League sticker collection uh, stuck into the album. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So we've got our fantastic sticker album here. And as you can see on the front cover for this year's album was Jude Bellingham, Marquinhos, Lataro Martinez, Erling Haaland, Harry Kane and Bukayo Saka. The Champions League trophy down there, the year of the sticker album and uh, yeah, lovely designed front cover with kind of purples and turquoisey colours with the, you know, the blue uh, Champions League colours featuring predominantly as well. So if you are excited guys for this video and you've enjoyed seeing the Champions League stickers on the channel this season you know what to do smash that like button to uh yeah show us that you've you've enjoyed it and of course um subscribe to the football collectible channel if you're new and have plenty more top stickers to come this summer with the uh uefa euro 2024 stickers you've seen some on the channel already but if you want to see more you know what to do subscribe so yeah here we are then here is our complete sticker collection so let's take a look let's show you what this complete album looks like um a few things i would say is it was a really you know, the stickers in the album were nicely designed, um, but you'll see in here that the page quality wasn't great this year. Um, it could have done with a hardback album, this collection. That would be my feedback for Tops. Um, the Where the stickers were stuck, it just meant that the album's kind of... Uh, uh, how do you describe it? Kind of like the pages have gone like wobbly. Wobbly pages? Creased pages? Um, they're not creased, but they're just not straight, if that makes sense. So... Um, but yeah, you've got the first page here with the Tops logo sticker uh, at the top there. The Champions League uh, official uh, trophy there. And then the UEFA Football for All Respect sticker. Contents page right there. And then you've got in here, um, again, I think the shiny stickers being a little bit heavier hasn't helped some of the pages. So you've got the shiny sticker. So you've got the Team of the Season feature, which is a nice little feature. The Men's Team of the Season on the left. The Women's Team of the Season on the right with the Player of the Season there as well. Um, and again, I've tried my best to stick these in as accurately as possible. Um, you know, it doesn't look too bad, the sticking on this. It was a challenge at times, but yeah, on the whole, it looks pretty good. Um, we then got the first team here. So it, rather than in group order, it was done alphabetically. So um, you've got AC Milan here. Again, each team had a badge sticker. Uh, they then had uh, how many? They had a super striker and an impact sticker and a one to watch sticker or next gen sticker and then how much it's seven uh, 10 16 uh kind of base stickers so not too bad each team featured the manager as well number of uefa champions league uh uefa europa league and uh, uefa super cup titles um in the stadium as well so that's quite cool then got ourselves um arsenal there with all the stickers there which is very very nice including a little picture of Mikel arteta um, again, good choices for Arsenal this year. Then got Atletico de Madrid. So again, all the stickers stuck in for these teams. These were fairly easy to stick in, but you'll just notice the slightly wavy pages in places. But really like the sticker design. Um, you know, country flag. Um, I guess kind of the position, midfielder, defender or attacker. Um, again, I like the impact stickers. They're really, really nice um, little stickers. Super strikers aren't bad either. And then we've got Celtic there too. You've got Barcelona, and again, you've got some of these nice, cool little first stickers for the likes of Lamine Yamal and others, which is pretty cool. Uh, you've got Bayern Munich there too. Then got yourselves Inter Milan there uh, again. You then got yourselves Porto, and you then have FC Salzburg right there too. And then we move on to the next page. You've got FC Shakhtar Donetsk. There we go. Also got there the uh, Union Berlin team featuring the uh, Olympi Stadium in Berlin, which is, did they have to, they must have had to have played their Champions League games there. Must have been a thing that they had to, to do because um, I didn't realise they'd had to do that. They had to play them at the Olympi Stadion. Uh, we've got Fairnood there too. Also got their um, Red Star. And just a note on the impact stickers, obviously you could get them in parallel. I did get a couple of parallels. I obviously only stuck the base version in. I wasn't going to stick the, the parallels in, but they do look nice nonetheless. Then got the current 
holders and, you know, kind of at the time of recording, all level in their quarterfinal tie with Real Madrid and Manchester City right there, including Impact De Bruyne and super striker uh, Erling Haaland. Then got yourselves Manchester United, of course, went out in the group stages surprisingly. Uh, there's United. Then got Newcastle as well, again, kind of unfortunately went out in the group stages. There they are. Then got yourselves Paris Saint-Germain. There we go. Lovely stuff, um, including uh, no Kylian Mbappe for this album. But I know, obviously, um, some licensing issues there. Then got yourselves RB Leipzig. There we go, including lots of Javi Simons. Benjamin Sesko, Danny Olmo and Luis Obenda as well. Uh, we've then got ourselves RC Lons, who are in Arsenal's group. Got yourselves Real Madrid there, including two very nice Jude Bellingham stickers and a very nice Vinny Jr. Super Strike sticker. Uh, you then got yourselves Real Sociedad. Also got yourselves Sevilla. Then you've got yourselves Benfica. Then we move on to Lazio. Also got in here Napoli. Great that Tops managed to um, get them, including in the album. That's fantastic work from Tops to ensure that all the teams featured. Then got ourselves Young Boys. People don't realise it's not as simple as, oh, they're in the Champions League, therefore they're going to be in the album. Um, it's not quite as simple as the Premier League licence where, um, you know, if you've got the Premier League licence, you've got the rights to all of the uh, teams. Champions League works a little bit, or UEFA club competitions works a little bit differently. Um, Tops have to, in, in effect, go out to all the individual clubs, as far as I'm aware, and uh, kind of um, negotiate, get approval. And not all clubs in the past have given approval, so they have to work really hard to build those relationships with each individual club across all of their uh, UEFA competitions. So um, they've done really well to get all the teams in this album. We've got Young Boys there of Switzerland. Then we've got uh, FC Copenhagen there too. Also got their Galatasaray. Uh, again, at the teams at the back of the stickers here, they did really well to include, um, but they don't have the shiny impact stickers because um, these were the playoff teams, so they qualified last. Then got yourselves PSV Eindhoven there too. Then got Royal Antwerp, who are making their debut in the competition. And finally, the final team that we've got is Braga of Portugal. So there we go. Very, very nice. Uh, and that is all of the, the team stickers. We've got every single team complete. Um, but then they did not sort of feature at the back here tops uh, around the Starball history. So um, the history of the iconic Adidas Starball for the competition. So I think it features pretty much every Starball since the year 2001. Um, so there we go. Again, some uh, sticker, or every ball had a sticker. Nice little kind of final posters tucked away there too. So we've got the first page of those complete. And the second page is there too, looking absolutely fantastic. Up to present day, of course, in 2023. It's the uh, final ball for 2023 for Istanbul. Uh, very nice. So we will see what the final ball is for Wembley this year. And then I really like this feature, Memories That Stick. Um, these were some really cool stickers featuring moments from across the Champions League, from when it first started, I believe, all the way through to last season's competition. Um, really some iconic moments for the likes of Mourinho, down there to Ronaldo at Real Madrid, uh, putting on a bit of a masterclass against uh, Manchester United. Um, all kinds of you know fantastic moments captured from the competition here, which is really, really nice and really iconic sticker moments. Meza Ozil's goal for Arsenal as well. Um, yes, yeah, so a really nice little feature that. Even some Liverpool stickers there too. Um, yeah, absolutely awesome uh, addition, I thought this was. Really, really nice little feature. Um, for this season's album. So we've got all two pages of those. Then at the back here as well, they did some mega signings, um, which again, to highlight some of the big summer transfers, so the likes of Bellingham, Declan Rice, um, Josko Vardiol down there too, um, Mason Mount, for example, uh, Kai Havertz, Harry Kane. Yeah, all the big, big transfers. Um, I think there were two pages of those. No, just the one page. Just the one page of those, but... Very nice stickers, uh, nonetheless. Um, and then at the back here, we have got the vote for the GOAT. So the team that was voted the greatest Champions League team all time. And look, we've got all of those there. They look really, really nice. All 11 players there. So Ronaldinho, Ronaldo, Ronaldo Nazario, Iniesta, Pirlo, Zidane. Um, 
also got there uh, Roberto Carlos, uh, Paolo Maldini, Fabio Cannavaro, uh, Javier Zanetti and Gianluigi Buffon. Lovely stuff. And then we've got the final sticker there, which is the top goal scorer of the UEFA, Europe, uh, UEFA Youth League competition from last season, which was Mex Mirdink of um, AZ Alkmaar. Very, very nice. And then that is the back of the album, ladies and gents. There we go. And that is the back page of the album right there. And that is one complete Tops UEFA Champions League sticker album. It was a massive job trying to complete it. It took me, I think, two and a two boxes plus at least, I think it was one order from Tops and a little bit of swapping to complete this. Uh, by order from Tops, I mean the last uh, last few sticker service, which is available if you do want to go and order your last few stickers for this collection. You can do it from Tops.com, both on the UK site and the German site. Um, yeah, so it took a few um, a few boxes, an order from Tops, um, and uh, a little bit of swapping as well. And huge shout out to those that, that helped me along the way with this. Um, look, it's a nice album. I hope next year Tops go and do another hardback uh, album for the Champions League sticker collection. I think it needs it. Um, it's a really nice uh, collection. Um, maybe next year there won't be so many um, special stickers because there's going to be a few more teams in the competition. So I wonder if this year was like a tester for a slightly bigger album. Um, to then uh, kind of include more team stickers next year. So you might not see so many of the, the special stickers. But nice little album. Uh, who knows, you might even see some Women's Champions League uh, stickers in there too next year. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed seeing the Wave Champions League stickers on the channel this year, you know what to do. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the Football Collectible channel if you're new. Let me know in the comments if you've completed your Wave Champions League sticker collection. And of course, I'll see you all in a few trophies. But until then, guys, it's goodbye.